Good evening, I'm Barbara Rallo. Welcome to On Plein Air Texas 2023 as we celebrate 10 years under the Texas stars. Obviously, stars are twinkling above us, but there are stars here among us tonight. Our artist stars blessing us with their amazing artwork for 10 years. Our patron stars, our sponsors, hosts, ranchers, and buyers. Thank you all for your special gifts. How did this all begin? 25 years ago, I began traveling to France to sketch and paint with my dear friend, Treva Boyd. 11 years ago, my husband and I attended the largest plein air event in the country, and I was blown away. After bringing one of those artists here to do a workshop, I approached Howard Taylor with a wild plan of bringing the best plein air painters in the world to paint here, and somehow convinced him to let Treva and me go to work. I tend to think of Barbara as the molly crawler of our time, this incredible art spirit uh, from our community. And Barbara said, I would love to work with you to create a national artist competition, a plein air competition. And uh, why not? We worked with Barbara. She uh, brought her good friend Treva Boyd on board and she uh, contacted a wide range of people that she knew and organized this wonderful volunteer group uh, and then indeed created, uh, now that we're looking at the 10th anniversary, one of the greatest uh, on plein air events in America. Uh, I came to St. Angelo in 1984 to open our new art museum. Uh, and at that time, several people told me that there had once been an art colony in San Angelo, and I found that a little hard to believe, uh, and I could find no evidence of it for a number of years until a man named Bill Cheek contacted me. Bill's a very avid collector of early Texas art and founder of an important organization called Cassetta, the Center for the Advancement and Study of Early Texas Art. He sent me a photograph, this wonderful photograph, of a gathering of artists in the 1920s in Cristobal, Texas. And it was known as the Cristobal Art Colony, and it existed for a number of years in the 20s. And it was created uh, and overseen by this wonderful woman named Molly Crowthers. And uh, Molly was a remarkable woman, and she had friends all over the country, and she brought together, indeed, some of the leading artists of that era and then many students who went on to become famous artists in their own right. Well, a number of years later at the museum, we thought, wouldn't it be interesting or exciting to bring to life in some way a manifestation of that early colony? Well, here it is a decade later, uh, going into our 10th anniversary, and it has become truly one of the leading plein air events in the country. Uh, what a wonderful thing it is for our community, uh, people get to experience it, people on the ranches, people in the downtown. It engages so many people in our community who are sponsors, supporters, uh, and it brings together leading artists from all over America and indeed even around the world. And also it's created this incredible body of work of paintings of our region, of our architecture, of our beautiful landscape. Uh, and so in many ways, it's achieved a lot of things, but another thing that I think is particularly important is it's become a major asset for supporting our children's education programs. that all those years painting in France prepared us for this journey. The rewards, seeing thousands of school children experience something like plein air with world-class artists in their classrooms as the community embraces this event and our artists. They've captured our favorite places on canvas and given us treasures to last for generations. We are immensely grateful to all of you here tonight and over the years you are the stars in our hearts and helped make this 
one of the premier plenary events in the world. Thank you also to all of you whose excellent taste in art drives our sales every year and funds our award-winning educational programming. Every $10 we raise provides a meaningful fine art experience for a local child. Thanks to our sponsors, donors, and programs like EPAT, the San Angelo Museum of Fine Arts is able to serve 33,000 students annually through its camps, classes, outreach programs, take-home art kits, and its after-school and Saturday family programs. Last year, EPAT sales alone benefited 8,000 children in the Concho Valley. In our 10th year, it's our goal to raise enough to benefit 10,000 local children. Thank you for your support. We salute all the volunteers and the people who've come together to make this happen, and particularly Barbara and her good friend, Tree. Cheers to you all and to 10 years of plein air painting in Texas. This event is a huge team effort, and this year it's bigger than ever. I offer my sincerest thanks and congratulations to everyone who had a hand in it. Our amazing SAMHSA staff, who make it a pleasure to come to work every day, the dynamic team of volunteers who pour their time and their effort as well as their hearts into making EPAT a success every year. Barbara Rollo and Treva Boyd, for 10 years of their exceptional leadership of this program, our gracious host families for their West Texas hospitality, and the outstanding artists who allow us to see the beauty of the San Angelo area through fresh eyes every year. And most of all, our generous sponsors who make it all possible. Personally, thank you for your support of Unplein Air Texas. We are proud to celebrate its 10th anniversary this year together with all of you. Now, enjoy the party and bring home some art.